2024 has been a very interesting year for PC gamers. Wukong was very intensive, Stalker 2 had some people worrying for their PCs, and now the new Indiana Jones game is forcing ray tracing on capable cards. And if your card isn't capable, then you'll need to find a different game. With all that being said, that means that your graphics settings will most likely plummet if you have a 30 series NVIDIA GPU or a 6000 series AMD card. Now you have to play these games with a mix of low to medium settings, which does not look good at all. But that doesn't always mean you have to play with your eyes burning. There is a method I found out about that can help with your scorched eyes. Let me show you. Now the method of this video is named Reshade. Some of you may know about this already, but this is for the people who don't. And boy, this really does help games that are at low graphics settings. Reshade injects hundreds of different post-processing choices into a capable game and allows you to do what the developers chose not to do. Let me show you how to set this up. So in my case, this is probably the best way you want to do this, which is through Nexus mods. So the reason why you want to do this with Nexus mods instead of the reshade website is because you want to do this for games that actually support reshade not all games support reshade so for instance as you can see here the indiana jones game does stalker 2 also does cyberpunk games like those and then some games just don't even bother so the best way to do this in my opinion is just to go on nexus mods search your game and then see if there are any choices for reshade if there are that means that your game is capable and then you want to, to just pick a regular one. So you can use one that's just a preset, as you can see here. This is a Ultra Realistica preset, a reshade preset. And this is basically their own preset of post-processing that they have set up through the game to make it look their version of realistic. You can take this and change it to your version of realistic, but this is just their personal preference and how they want to do it. So the way you would want to do this is find any of them. It doesn't even have to be one that you think looks good. Just take one of these files and you can look down here. It tells you plenty of things about how to actually set this up. So I won't be going over that in this video, but just follow all of this stuff. It's fairly easy. You just take files, drop it straight into the game files at a specific path, and then you'll go into the game and you'll simply just see it there so you just take the files here and you will need to be signed in to do this and then you just pick one of them it doesn't matter at all because you will be changing them unless you want to use a set preset that somebody else has already set up then you can do that but if you want to get a little creative with it then it doesn't matter which one you pick just pick one that has already set up everything okay so as you can see in stalker 2 this is what my game looks with reshade and then as soon as i turn reshade off it looks like this so yeah as you can see there is really a big difference and this isn't completely low settings but if we look at my settings here you can see that my settings are pretty much set to low medium and then a few things like anti-aliasing or post-processing are set to high but those things aren't actually the reasons why my game looks like that it's actually because of shading quality, global illumination, reflection, shadow quality, textures, things like that. The post-processing and the anti-aliasing don't actually cause any real issues to the visual, except for anti-aliasing. Of course, there is a lot of aliasing, so yeah, that can get bad. But the main reason why the game looked as bad as it does is because of all of those other factors, which sadly, turning up those things can really plummet your fps so if you want to play this game those are the type of settings that you are going to have to use and i've already done a benchmark on this game and i've already included the best things that you should use for this if you're using something like an rx 6600 or a equivalent nvidia card and yeah so this is what it looks without reshade this is what it looks like with reshade and i honestly love this this looks a lot better than this does this is pretty bad it's not horrible stalker 2 already looks good no matter where you're at kind of like how indiana jones is but of course reshade makes it look a lot more realistic and you honestly forget that you have it at low settings so let's actually get to how you would do this you would just click home if you installed it correctly and you can see that a window will come up and you should be able to see a whole bunch of different post-processing choices so you can see that in my case i have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different post-processing um, choices enabled for me. 
so this is literally all i need you can use everything that i have here it should look the exact same for you i know there are a few things that can like hdr it kind of makes everything look a little bit darker i personally like it like this but sometimes other people might not like the same thing i know certain things like colors and shading and filmic pass and some of those things like autofocus won't really change color it'll really more just make the game look a little better but like the fake hdr and the other hdr stuff those are the type of things that make it look darker and honestly i love it because of course i am playing at low to medium settings and my game looks horrible without reshade but as you can see, as I scroll, there are hundreds of different ones you can enable. I haven't even gone through the whole thing. I went through most of it, but not everything. And to be honest, some of these things are just like, if you just want to play around, but these are the best ones that I've found. And as you can see, it makes my game look like this. And yeah, this honestly looks amazing. Like I, there's not really much else to it. It's really just that easy. If you want to create your own, you would click here and you would be able to create your own presets. All I did was take one of the presets from somebody else and copy it and then just adjust it to my liking so that I had theirs to change later maybe. And then I also had mine. So you can just really switch back and forth. If I look here, you can actually see I have plenty of different ones. I have real stalker. I have natural vision, hangman's reshade. And then also have reshade preset. This is just one that I created. This one, I'm pretty sure this one doesn't even actually have things in it. But yeah, you can see that I have plenty of different reshades. Now it does take a minute to actually do the reshades every single time you set them. It's not just snappy, but yeah, as you can see, once you actually load a reshade, then you can just toggle back and forth between them. And you can see the big difference. Playing through like this almost looks like you're playing Fallout. And then you click this and then it comes back to stalker two. So yeah, you looking at this, I almost forgot that I was even playing at low settings. Like it's, it's honestly insane how much reshade works. And actually reshade just came out for Indiana Jones because of course a lot of people have to wait till the game actually comes out. But like this next day, people came out with reshade for it. So you can also do this with reshade and I might even, you know, add a few images showing how it looks inside of Indiana Jones. But yeah, that's pretty much all.